welcome to the warm-up today. We are at Allen East High School, presented by U.S. Plastic Store. As we talk a little Mustangs football, I'm Mark Kuntz. Andy Lynch will be joining us momentarily. But first, let's talk with Allen East head coach Mike Abbey, along with a couple of his seniors, Trevor Smelzer and Tanner Stippick, down at the end. And first off, coach, how did the, uh, the summer and the offseason go for the Mustangs? Not too bad. Uh, yeah, the boys have really put some time in in the weight room. Uh, I can say probably I've been here, this is my 16th season here, quite a few years as an assistant coach, and then uh, this is my fourth year as the head coach. But by far our strongest team, top to bottom. Uh, the guys have really worked hard. We had 36 probably plus guys uh, every, you know, three days a week in the in the weight room, and you know, two thirds of our team there all summer long. And definitely, uh, definitely, that's going to help us this this fall here uh so we have a great group of seniors not a not a big group but a great group that's for sure and uh, they're they're real tight and that's going to help us down the down the long run you know it, it comes down to seniors as many of us know and and this group is a good group trevor coming off a, a four and six campaign I, I think a lot of people at Allen east would say that was, that was a good step forward a good building block type year coach abby as he mentioned now in his fourth season as the head coach are you seeing his imprint on this program now? Yes, I am. I think he's really helping us a lot, and we got a new defensive coach. I think he's going to be able to help us out and teach us what we need to do. Tanner, what was the offseason like for you? A lot of work. Try to come in, work as hard as you can, get better every day. We had a lot of guys in here, so hopefully we'll be able to see that this season. Certainly, Coach, you look at what uh, you bring back from last year, you got to like some of the linemen coming back, but obviously the big hole is, is Ross Stewart, your, your big running back lost to graduation. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, that's, you know, he was kind of our focus the last couple of years. I'm sure that was other teams focus the last few years, but, uh, you know, the, you know, bad thing about losing him, you know, obviously that's part of our offense, but now we can maybe be a little more spread. Uh, you know, we can spread things around a little bit more. We won't focus quite so much on him, but I got a couple good fullbacks ready to take over. You know, we say fullback, but fullback in our offense is kind of like our tailback. I mean, you know, Ross had, you know, whatever it was, 1,400 yards, whatever, last year, quite a bit. And, and uh, you know, our fullback is our, you know, we're, we're in that hybrid wing T. We got motion in halfbacks all over the place and running our rocket. But that uh, fullback, he runs our down and, and all our inside play in our trap and he's our you know he's our main guy so we've got a couple guys fighting for it we got a senior Isaac Ackerman fighting for that spot and we have a junior uh Schick he's doing a great job too so both those guys are doing a great job Logan Schick and and uh, those guys are just fighting for it and they, we got a couple other younger guys too but it seems like that's probably where it's going to end up being there but uh uh our line coming back you know we lost one senior off our line so that's definitely going to have to be our, our mainstay you know we're, we're putting some money on those big boys and they've really worked hard we've got more guys squatting over 500 and benching over 300 than we've ever had before and uh and I give a lot of credit to coach Shelb my offensive coordinator and uh, my line coach Kevin Shelb's done a great job for us and uh, is really doing a great job in the in the weight room my seniors have made it fun and it's kind of the place to be you know we have two hour lifts and I'm going out there and I'm shooing them out the <laughs> I'm shooing them out of the weight room so so I can get home and be with my girls and stuff and so it's a little bit different for all of us but I'm really thankful I got some great assistance and Kevin is uh, one that's doing a great job for sure. Tanner, as the quarterback, you got to look at that offensive line and, and feel pretty secure back there. Definitely. That's a big group of my friends over there, and it feels good to know that they're the ones protecting me. Coach said you might put in some elements of the spread. You, you're going to like being able to throw the ball around a little bit? I'd like to. I think it would be pretty fun. We'll see how everything goes. Trevor, let's talk a little bit about uh, the defense for Allen East. What, uh, what do you see defensively for the Mustangs? Um, we got a new coach Evans is our new defensive coach and I think he's just teaching us the stuff that we really need to know to just do the stuff right like we haven't been our defense you know wasn't the best last year and I think it's going to really improve. Coach a few weeks away before that opener at home against New Bremen what do you think you have to work on the most between now and then? Well, just like Trevor said, you know, we're we're doing some different things defensively. Uh, a lot of a lot of I mean, we, not as if we didn't do our tackling stations and stuff in the past, and we did plenty of it, but we're doing we're doing a little differently this year. And uh, Coach Evans is you know graduated nah, maybe ten years ago now, and just the young guy bringing a little energy and and just that uh, you know we're we're going to play a five three. We're going to be moving quite a bit, and that's kind of what we did towards the end of the season last year, and and. Um, 
I think, you know, obviously, you know, defensively, we have to be better. We got to keep ourselves in games. And uh, uh, offensively, we got to keep doing what we're doing, find a guy or so, like you said, to, to replace Ross. But we got a lot of other guys. You know, we, you know, Tanner's coming back for his second year at the quarterback spot. And I got another good uh, junior that's improving each and every day right on his tail, making him better. And that's the thing that we have this year. We have competition at every spot. You know, we almost have 50 guys. We got 49 guys this year. You know, we got three huddles going. And, you know, we haven't had three huddles around <laughs> Allen East for a while. When you got competition, let me tell you, they're all working harder. And that's going to make us better on Friday night, too. So uh, that's those, those are a couple things going to have to work for us. Taking a look at the Northwest Conference this year obviously you've got Ada Crestview Jefferson oh, yeah. they shared the title last year well, they're going to all three be good again yeah what do you think the race is going to look like this year I uh you know I I hope the blue and white come ready to play on Friday night and uh, I think I think we can definitely cause a little hiccup in some of those things but those three teams are going to be very good you know just like they've been in the past um you know Crestview Crestview they're they're awfully tough with quite a few players coming back I know Delphus has lost some guys but coach Summers I bet has got a few more boys out than he's had in the past and uh like Bluffton you can never count Bluffton out and and uh, the guys from Hardin County they can throw it around and play some pretty good defense too so uh, I'm real proud of my boys this summer we we really worked hard on throwing the ball and working hard and we're going to keep doing that and uh, we bring that mentality that we've had this summer and working hard and sticking together come Friday night we're going to be pushing the end here and I, I hope we're right up there in the middle of it right at the top that's our goal NWC chance we'll have the Allen East Crestview game on at WOSN later on this football season need to take a break when we come back in this U.S. Plastic Store warm-up Andy Lynch will join us with some more Mustang football Back outside Goodwin Field for round number two here on this U.S. Plastic Store preview. It is the warm-up as I get to sit in now with three of the big guys up front that Coach Abby talked about. Jacob Sherrick to my left, tackle and defensive tackle. Travis Weirman in the middle, a guard, nose tackle and linebacker. And Garrett Hireman down on the end, offensive line and defensive line. Jacob, let's start with you. All these big guys, best shapes of your life. How, how are you guys feeling right now? Oh, yeah, definitely. We had a great offseason. We worked really hard. You know, we did a lot of running, a lot of lifting. I feel like we're in the best shapes here coming into the season. Would you say the strength starts up front with you guys? Oh, definitely. You know, we like to run the ball, and uh, obviously we've done that the last three years with Ross, and uh, so we're hoping to do that again this year, but maybe a little more pass protecting and stuff like that. Travis, you're all over the place. Nose tackle, drop back to linebacker. you like having that flexibility to try a bunch of different things? Yeah, I really like being versatile and just kind of filling in wherever they need me to go at. How are things going for you? Uh, you've been at it now four or five days. How do you feel personally? Oh, uh, starting to. Get a little tired now. I'm waking up. <laughs> just now? You're just starting to get tired? Oh, yeah. I was real enthused the first three or four days, and now I'm getting up. It's like, man. But you just got to keep coming and grinding every day. No question. Garrett Hireman down at the end, another one of the big guys. How do you feel this line has come together maybe at the end of last season, into the summer? Do you feel like you, you are meshing as a unit? Uh, yeah, definitely. As uh, Coach said before, we only lost one guy on the line, uh, and everybody else who's on the line right now, we're just becoming a real close knit bunch and just becoming a family. It seemed like things were kind of light out there. You guys were yipping and, and, and having some fun. It, it, is it a light atmosphere at times, Jacob? Oh yeah, we like to have fun out here. You know, Coach Evans brings a lot of energy this year, a new defense coordinator. And Shell helps out with the offense. He brings a lot of energy, both young guys. So they help help out a lot. A couple rounds of Abby says, I understand Coach Abby, uh, in the rain yesterday, was that an interesting time for you guys? Oh yeah, we were in the gym, a little Abby says. Uh, we followed along pretty well, I think it's mostly the young guys, so we lucked out there. How are the young guys coming along, Travis? Do you feel like you know there's some good potential there and they're, they're good at, they're teachable, freshmen and sophomores? Yeah, I feel like they're really starting to come along now, starting to learn their plays and being able to do things without being told more than once. They're starting to pick up now a lot faster. New Bremen, the opener, is it developing into a rivalry last year? You guys went down there, got the win. Jacob, would you say it's it's something you look forward to? Obviously, the Bath game was always a big rivalry game, but what do you think of that week one matchup? Oh, it's definitely something that we look forward to being week one. You know, that's who we look at all all off season. but uh, it was nice to go down there and get a win. You know, they're a max school, so that's definitely something we look forward to. You know, you want to beat all of them that you can. All right, we'll talk with a few more of the players about how many wins they can get this season right here on the warm-up. 
brought to you by U.S. Plastic Store. Last time here at Allen East for the warm-up, brought to you by the U.S. Plastics Store. Andy Lynch alongside Isaac Ackerman to my left, fullback defensive end, and Alex Larice down at the end, another one of those big guys up front. Alex, let's start with you. Uh, just talk about this line. I mean, you guys are huge. Can Tanner even see over the top of you guys? He's a tall quarterback, but you guys tower. Yeah, that's true. Uh, our coaches have been getting down on us and getting low, and I believe that we're going to be a real good line this year. Three years of experience with a lot of our linemen. We'll be real good this year. Four wins last year. Did you feel like that was a step in the right direction for where you guys want to go this year? Absolutely a step in the right direction, but not enough for us. This year we're going to be doing better. Isaac Ackerman, you're one of the guys that could be or will be replacing Ross Stewart. What did Ross teach you last year? What did you learn from him uh, through the toughness and through all those yards he put on the board? The biggest thing that he taught all of us was work ethic. He was a guy that came in, he busted his butt every day, and he was one of those guys that no matter what happened, he always had energy and was always pushing us to go as hard as we can and to be the best that we could possibly be. It's a good, uh, good testimony there for Ross. Certainly a very hard worker. Do you mm -hmm. see yourself as a similar type of back? I, I try to be a similar type of back. And, uh, I try to be a guy that runs hard, gives it all every play somebody that's going to help this team out every way I can. Isaac, looking ahead to uh, scrimmages, what do you look forward to about those? I look forward to getting, getting pads on and getting to hit somebody else that's not wearing <laughs> the same jersey that we are. I'm looking forward to seeing how physical we can be with the line, offense, and defense, and finally being able to just hit somebody that's not on our team. Yeah, you, you really ache for that, I'm sure, throughout seven on sevens. And now you finally get to hit somebody else. Corey Ross and Lakota will come here the 15th and then at Liberty Benton, that second one. What do you hope to get out of that as well for this team and individually? Like Isaac said, hitting somebody other than our own teammates <laughs> is always a good thing. But more experience and getting ready for season, trying to mesh us together more as a family. It seems like a family atmosphere out there, and I noticed the defensive line, you can comment on this, jumping around and some different movements, you were barking out there, pretty fun atmosphere? Oh, absolutely. A lot of energy. Lots of energy for Allen East. They will open here at home with New Bremen, then at Columbus Grove, home for Spencerville, at Duffus Jefferson, Crestview, and Bluffton. Isaac, you're going to find out who this team is in that first half of the season, some tough opponents. Oh, yeah, definitely. It always... It's, it's always a strong schedule, and the NWC has been pretty strong the last couple of years. And it's going to be a good measure to how, how much this team has improved and how physical we're going to be and how we're going to play as a team. Alex, is there some drill that you look forward to that you actually like out here? I really enjoy rocket drill. Coach Shelb, he gets, he gets us going. What happens in rocket drill? Just run one of our favorite plays. There you go. That's all you need to do here at Allen East. They are ready for a big season. Four wins last year. Looking to improve upon that here today. We want to thank U.S. Plastic Store for bringing you the warm-up. Thanks to Mark Koontz and Coach Abby and all the guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time here on WSL.